Good morning, friends. Uh, welcome to Azure Talks. So today we will we are here to renew our uh, certifications. Like the the question which was asked was like uh, how you can actually renew your Microsoft certification. So for Microsoft certification, uh, once it is expired, you cannot renew it. But in case it is pending for your renewal and it is showing you an option to renew it, then it should be free. So first question was asked that whether it is a cost. So it is there is no cost of it. And the uh, the good part is it is actually a open book. Open book means actually you can uh, do a research on the internet, take the reference on the book and then give the answers to it. So I will just show you how you can actually renew your Microsoft certification. Okay, so these are this mostly these certifications are role based. So why are role based certifications does expire? in one year or two year because normally what happens is when we talk about technical expertise or functional expertise they are changing they are evolving actually okay so to make you yourself up to date generally the certification expires in one or two years so the best part is that Microsoft is offering you a free renewal of the certification so here you go so Hope you, hope you can see my screen. So I am at my uh, certification dashboard. Uh, how to launch this certification dashboard? Uh, you can do it with the help of uh, typing Microsoft um, certification dashboard and then press enter. Okay, so the first will give you the Microsoft certifications which will be under uh, docs.microsoft.com learn certification. Click on it and then you will see the uh, Microsoft certification dashboard now to view your certification dashboard you need to click on a small link which is provided into your right hand side which is called go to certification dashboard you need to click on it once you click on it you should be able to see that you are able to see that you get your all details profiles if you are not seeing that means your profile is not migrated normally it was a different site but now Microsoft has uh, clubbed it with the help of uh, clubbed it on the uh, Microsoft learn site over here you should be able to see your activities training challenges certifications question and answers achievements collections and uh, transcript so I will show you before I show you how you can renew I will show you how you can actually look for your activities so look for your activities means it will show you that in the past uh, 30 days or 7 days what what was your modules which you have uh, understood or which you have actually pending for in completion or what is the status of the uh, how much percentage it has been left or completed similarly if you see challenges these challenges are the challenges which you have completed at uh, and a stretch of uh, uh, when the cloud uh, uh, Microsoft cloud or Microsoft build Microsoft security all this were launched so these are the challenges which is given by uh, open Microsoft forum or by your company also you will be able to see that Microsoft is if you see uh, about this so this is the latest one which I did so if I show you it will sh it will give you an indication that you have completed the challenge and it was completed on 21st of June 2020 so this will earn a free Microsoft certification that means it will give you a free coupon and then you can do your certification so this was mostly for build uh, sorry Microsoft security so I got in security I have not done the security certificate but yes you will get a uh, Microsoft security coupon like you can do SC100 or SC200 or similar kind of uh, certifications now similarly when it comes to the training you will see what all trainings you have done then you have the challenges and then the certifications so certifications is the core area wherein what all certifications you have done will be listed here so the latest uh, would be uh, displayed over here okay and in case it is not displaying so don't worry you need to click on the view all and then you will be able to see the your list of certifications the past exams like which all past exams which I have passed or failed if I show you so there are a couple of failed exams normally yeah so I do fail it is not that I don't uh, fail so yes uh, 
so that's the uh, that's the certifications uh, list which shows you that how much examinations you have passed and how much you have taken the examination so if you see the count is 83 there are many certifications in which i have failed so that's the reason it is showing you now let's go back to the certification and then see that what all options it is showing so uh, i think the site is a little bit slow so then there are pass exam then pass renewal assessments so renewal assessments means what all renewal assessments which i have given may i may have been passed or failed so pass means if you see uh, on 28th june i have apply, applied for azure solution architect and i got failed then i prepared myself and then given again and it was passed on 7th of july similarly if you see uh, the question answers Question answers means what all question answers you have followed or you have commented or what I'll mean approved question answers or we are following question answers that so all this will be available over here. Similarly, there will be an achievements. Achievements will show you the trophies which by, by completing your uh, modules you have been given though and then there will be a collection. Collection means normally uh, I do the collections wherein uh, let's suppose I want to study AS at 120 or maybe some uh, some renewal assessments which I am doing I just make a collection and then study it so I will show you I will come to this point and show you similarly we have the transcripts transcripts are the are the detailed information which talks about your certification I will just zoom it which talks about your certification which all certification you have given uh, what is your legal name what is your username what is your contact email address similarly it will show you that what all active certifications you have how much examinations you have passed number of modules completed in the microsoft learn site similarly it will give you the number of historical certificates like what all certificates which have been already coming from your historical background so like i started doing certifications from year 2010 so from 10 to 14 or 13 it will be historical because they have been already software has has been actually uh, upgraded to finance and operation or similar kind of technology has been changed so that will be marked under a historical uh, certifications then we have the mct status so mct status is active duration of modules completed it will be around seven two hundred and seventy seven hours 37 minutes so whatever you do it will be recorded over here okay similarly it has uh, on the top bar it has settings wherein talks about the transcript settings share link and print so what is the sh uh, share link share link is um, let's suppose I want to share this transcript to my friend or some training partner what I will do I will take this link I have created a link first time it will be activated you need to click on it and then create a link out of it so if i copy and show you on the incognito mode okay so it will be available for everyone those who has this link will be able to see it they will not be able to edit anything it's in it's opening in read only and it is giving you a uh, hash value on which it will be it is open getting open okay similarly uh, you can remove the links you can revoke it in case you see there is uh, something happening or you don't want to share you can remove the links so earlier I will show you earlier it was uh, earlier it was more towards showing the um, uh, transcripts uh, give me a minute I will just open my whatsapp I have uh, I have some links which I would like to share you that earlier it was more easy to share uh, with the username and the password but uh, that was more secure but over here is just over of uh, it's a o on the link so if I go back on this by removing the security key and say transcript so I will not be able to see it I will be able to see how many badges how much how much uh, trophies or reputation points which I have but I will not be able to understand uh, I will not be able to see what all uh, email ID I have what all uh, transcripts which all exams which I have given so uh, give me a minute I will just quickly see I will show you the link I have forwarded to someone so to quickly check whether I have it or not I was not having handy yes so I got it so earlier it was into a form like this so I'll just show you 
okay so earlier it was in the into this form so you need to if if anybody has to validate they has to go go to this link okay and then it will be asked with the username and the password so transcript id is this yeah it is still working but microsoft may uh, revoke sometime and the access code is this and if you put, put the access keys you will be able to see what all certifications i have done what is my address what is my mcp id all this informations you will get okay make sense perfect so now i will move back and now let's go to the main topic which we were understanding so then we have the transcript settings transcript settings means if you want to show some uh, legal name or mcp id that's your wish we you want to hide it it will be hidden okay from the public i will just cancel it similarly you can click on print and take a pdf copy of it so that you can share it to your peers or your coming company now uh, the main uh, point comes in that how we can actually do the renewals so for renewals you have to go back to the certifications go back to the certification and click on view all once you click on view all you should be able to see green button as you are completed active certification and over on the on the second point you will see renew button normally this i have given already so it has been renewed and over here it you, you will see that it is extended to october 20 uh, you want to extend it to october 2023 it will be expiring on uh, on 22 october 22 so you if you wish to extend then you it says a free one you want to do it you click on the renew so let's suppose i am giving you an option to see this uh, solution platform solution architect and click on renew so once you click on renew it will tell you to read at least once the the questions what are the skills measured and it will show you it expires in 136 days and in case i am ready to give the uh, ready to give the um, assessments then this could be take the renewal assessments normally uh, i would recommend to go to the uh, renewal Uh, like this and do not take the renewals assessment uh, without understanding all the modules which is there listed go one by one so i have done two completed two one solution architect series planning application life cycle management on for the power platform i have not completed so i will be doing it similarly there are couple of more uh, modules which i have to complete it but uh, i will just waste my one time i will just try to give you a Uh, a renewal assessment how it comes okay so it will give you around 25 to 26 questions and there will be questions like uh, multiple choice uh, one or uh, you have to select two options so over here it is one so the first question goes like you are creating a model driven app that uses standard tables for customer records you need to recommend a ready to use secure contract sign signature solution what could be you recommending so what could be the recommended tool ready to use a uh, secure contract signature solution so what i know it can be azure marketplace it can be azure devops app source or github normally what are the solutions which we give should be on the app source so this is the correct answer and this is on open big book so what you can do you can just select everything okay and then try to do it try to search on the internet obviously you will not get the uh, complete information uh, complete answers to it but you can actually use uh, you can use uh, you can review it you can then uh, take uh, suggestions and see how it works or maybe uh, do some research on it so this is this is it for all and uh, in case you have any doubts i will do the rest of the assessments obviously uh, that's the reason i i can't show all the questions uh, because it's in microsoft uh, um, assessment tool okay so let's wind up this uh, call for today and uh, you have a great uh, day ahead do like subscribe and share this channel thank you very much